Hello, this is Mario from Odeon. Odeon Auditorium and Combined Editions come with a tool that will allow you to visualize the coverage of individual reflectors or groups of reflectors. To make use of this tool, first we have to define which surfaces we want to consider as reflectors. To do that, we will click on Define Reflector Surfaces at the top icon bar. In the Define Reflectors window, the left side will show all of the room's surfaces, while the right side will show which ones are currently selected as reflectors. For instance, let's add the side reflectors. In this model, we have all side reflectors grouped in a single layer, so they will be pretty easy to find in the surface list. To add a group of surfaces, you can click on the first one, Scroll down to the last relevant surface, shift click, then click on the Select Reflector Surface icon. Also, you can deselect surfaces with the icon just underneath. You can also visualize the selected reflector surfaces on the 3D model by clicking on Show Reflectors. Now, let's take a look at how these surfaces will reflect sound from a source. For that, we will go to the 3D Reflector Coverage icon at the top icon bar. By default, the crosses show the landing point of the first reflection bouncing off a reflector. There are several ways in which we can customize this view to study different cases. At the bottom left, you can change your source. The regions covered by your reflectors will change if the source is at a different position. Next, here you can select to view the coverage of a single reflector, which can be quite useful. While your cursor is active on this drop-down menu, you can also use the up and down arrows to navigate through your reflectors without having to reopen the drop-down menu. This visualization can come in handy, for example, if you need to adjust the angle of individual reflectors. The checkbox here will change the drop-down menu to now display layers instead. First, this will show each layer of reflectors grouped with a single color. Then, you can select to visualize only one layer at a time. So, we would recommend you to have your surfaces grouped in layers beforehand. I'll go back to visualize a single reflector for the next options. Here, you can select to draw the actual rays bouncing off the reflector, or emit it from the source and then being reflected. Here, you can change the number of rays that will be emitted from the source. It should be noted that this is the total number of rays emitted in all directions, but only those hitting the reflector will be shown. Finally, here you can change the number of reflections to display for each ray. Keep in mind that although this is a feature found only in Odium Auditorium and Combined, and it is mainly meant to be applied in Auditorium models, it can be used for basically any other case. For instance, you could study the reflections in an open plan office or in an industrial environment. That concludes this tutorial, and we hope you have found it useful. Good luck!